the three main party leaders know they have a shared problem. Though there's no evidence of widespread wrongdoing, Parliament itself is under suspicion. Hence the standards watchdogs call for independent scrutiny of MPs' affairs in the wake of the Derek Conway affair. He maintains today that he did nothing wrong in employing his son as an assistant, even though he was a full-time student. But ministers acknowledge there's still a problem. And of course we have to take this seriously. It doesn't help the cause of any of us, of any party in politics, to be imprisoned by the cynicism which those kind of headlines generate, not unreasonably. That's why I think it's important the House authorities look at the rules existing in relation to MPs' allowances and expenses. It's estimated that 170 MPs, that's more than a quarter, employ members of their families. Among them, the former Work and Pension Secretary Peter Hain pays his 80-year-old mother 5,400 a year for secretarial work, while the Conservative MP Bob Spink employs his ex-wife as his secretary at a salary of 28,000 a year. In addition, he's paying the daughter of a former partner more than 5,000 for helping in his Westminster office. The overriding difficulty being how things seem. New Labour did introduce certain rules. So we now when these know when some of these things have happened. So uh, maybe MPs are not sleazy. Well, we have a perception of them being sleazy. But it's, it's up to them. I'm often asked, how can MPs improve public trust in public life? Simple answer, try behaving better. The difficulty facing the Prime Minister, though, is twofold. One, devising a new regulation regime is complicated. And two, he needs to do it in a hurry. There's already widespread concern around here that fewer and fewer people bother to vote, largely because of public cynicism about politics, and if the impression gains ground that they've all got their snouts in the trough, that can only make things worse. Peter Spencer, Sky News, Westminster.